Alright, so this isn't a video that I want to be making, but circumstances have led me to believe that this is something that I need to do. Now, some of you may be aware of a video made by a YouTuber named Just a Robot, who I will call Jar in the rest of the video, about my girlfriend Yuki and what she and some of her ex friends did in the past. I am aware of the video as well. And I guess you could say this is sort of a response to it, but there's only so much I can say about the situation. We'll get into why later. Now, in order for you to understand what I'm about to say, you're going to need some context, so I will go over the broad scope of the video, but uh, I'll leave out a lot of details for the simple reason that it's not my story to tell. If you want the full story behind what happened, feel free to watch his video. It's an hour and 20 minutes long, but it'll go into far more detail than I'll ever be able to. The gist of it is that when my partner was a teenager, she and a bunch of people she knew at the time did some horrible things to other people. Things like making a wide range of false accusations against people and then going after them causing drama and stress and hurt, and she hurt a lot of people during this time, including Jar. Now, again, I'm leaving out a lot, but if I were to go over everything, this video would be like one or two hours long, and again, for reasons we'll get into later, it's not my place to tell this story. What I can say is that the Yuki I know has changed, and she deeply regrets what she did. When we started dating, she actually began opening up to me about what she did. She didn't go into quite as much detail as Jar did in his video, but over time she told me enough that when I watched the video, nothing in it surprised me. In fact, the story I heard from her, for the most part, lines up with that video. Now, Yuki has gone and publicly apologized for what she did. I'll link to it in the description. She knows she was in the wrong, and she regrets what she did. Having been with her the past three years, I also know she's being sincere if my word about that means anything to you. The Yuki I know is not the same person that did all that. In the time that I've known her, she's been one of the most kind and supportive people that I've ever known. She's been there for me when I was sick, she's supported me when I was struggling emotionally, she's helped me with my own personal projects, and supported me when I get discouraged while doing those projects. Not only that, but she's also been there for other people when they need support, be it when they're struggling emotionally, or when they need encouragement, or if they like actually need help with their offline lives. Yuki has been there for many people, and that's the person I fell in love with, the person she is now, and not who she was back then. Now, I'm not going to try and downplay what happened. It was horrible. And none of what I said is an excuse for what happened back then. But I also know that the Yuki I know would not do anything like that ever again. And she's doing her best to learn from her past mistakes and become a better person. And from what I can tell, she's doing a pretty good job of that. Now, if that was all there was for me to say, I probably would not be making a video about it. I probably would have just left it on my statements on Twitter and DeviantArt. But sadly, there is one more thing I need to address. If any of you saw that video in the first one to two-ish days after it came out, you may have noticed that Jar linked to me in the description of the video. Now, to his credit, that link has since been removed. But it was there long enough for a small amount of people, uh, enough for me to notice, to go on to my YouTube channel and my DA from there. I just want to set the record straight and say that I had nothing to do with that situation. And at the time this was all happening, I hadn't even met Yuki. Now, I have no idea why Jar's video linked to me. He didn't make any specific claims about me in the video, actually. Maybe he had a reason, maybe there was some confusion or miscommunication. I don't know, because I'm not him. All I can do is speculate, and honestly, I don't think it'd be right for me to put words in his mouth. Remember how I said that there's only so much about this I can say, and that it's not my place to tell this story? Yeah, this is the reason why. 
Now, I did try to reach out to Jar on Twitter to ask him about this right after that video went out. He didn't reply to the tweet, though he did later reply to my statement on Twitter saying that the reason he didn't is because he got so many messages that day and he just forgot to. Which is understandable. But I still have no idea why I was linked for the first one or two days. And aside from that small interaction on Twitter, I've never spoken to him in my entire life. Now, until I have reason to believe otherwise, I'm going to assume he had some kind of reason to link me, even if it was an honest mistake. He is a victim of the whole situation in the past, and I don't want to add to his pain. I ask that all of you guys, the viewers of my channel, treat him with the same respect. I just hope that this cleared up any confusion that you guys may have had. I know not all of you follow me on Twitter, so I thought I should make this video here too.